Hello lovely Capricorn, how are we doing? I hope you're doing well and I hope you're looking forward to this reading. So this is a general reading for Capricorn for May 2023. So let's get into it shall we Capricorn. So the first week of May we've got the Abundance card. So the Abundance card is there to remind you that you are surrounded by abundance, especially in that first week of May. So it'll be a really good time to just sort of take stock of what you're already in abundance of and be grateful for that, do some gratitude on that. And then also manifesting abundance, it'll be a really good week for manifesting any type of abundance, whether it's financial, whether it's spiritual, whether it's um, materialistic, whatever it is, whatever it is that you want to um, manifest, that first week is just full of abundance for you lovely Capricorn. So it's a really good week to tune into that energy um, and just, yeah, do some meditation on it, do some, see what you can do there with manifesting abundance, you can work with law of attraction you can work with gratitude <clears throat> excuse me there's all sorts of things you can do with um, working with abundance so that first week super supportive um, and it's going to be really beneficial to just pay attention to what you're already in abundance of in that week as well as manifesting more of the same uh, so let's have a look at the second week Capricorn we've got the health card so it's time to just take stock of your health maybe if you need to just give yourself a bit of a boost that second week is a really good time to do that um, and just have a look if there's any sort of areas where you could maybe be a little bit healthier um, whether you could eat a little bit more sort of raw or organic organic food um and that sort of thing and whether you're sort of getting enough vitamins and uh, minerals and and enough water and those type of things and look we've got with this card we've got the flowers we've got the crystals we've got the herbs and plants and stuff so that's just a little reminder that we've got nature to help us with our health so we can use crystals to help, to help our health we can use flowers we can use plants and herbs in a variety of different ways um so yeah bring give yourself a bit of a natural health boost in that second week Capricorn and I feel like you'll really see some benefits from it um, and I feel like it'll give you that boost that you might be needing at the moment um, so have a, let's have a look at the third week so the third week not only have we got the health card but we've also got the healing card so I feel like you really 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 need to spend some time just looking after yourself Capricorn really really looking after yourself for this month um, look after your health look after your state of mind look after your just mind body and soul basically spiritually mentally physically emotionally you need to just look after yourself give yourself a big hug um, give yourself more time to sleep more time to recover and rest um, and just have a look at where you can give yourself a bit of a a helping hand to feel better and to just heal and to let things go and to work on your, your shadow self a little bit um, and like with this card we've got the the crystal again crystals are really good for this kind of thing um, we've got what looks like a mandala behind or the tree of life sort of thing uh, sacred geometry is another one that's a really good way of healing and sort of raising your vibration and clearing energy and that kind of thing. Um, and also, don't forget, I do do uh, shamanic trance healing. I do spell work as well. Um, I can also obviously do personal readings. So if you do need any help and guidance, I also do life coaching, hypnotherapy, meditation, all these other things. So um, I do soul guidance as well. So if you need any sort of help, with any any of this this month my lovely Capricorn don't don't be afraid to drop me a message and get yourself booked in if it's not me maybe book yourself in with somebody else maybe go get some Reiki or some kinesiology or some reflexology or some acupuncture or just go and get yourself out in nature a little bit to clear your energy and ground yourself a bit um but do these kind of things that's going to give you a boost this month Capricorn because I feel like some of you are having a bit of a difficult time Time at the moment and you just need to help yourself as best you can and I know that's easier said than done sometimes when you don't feel very well and you feel just absolutely shitty but I want you to know that you're going to be okay this is just this is just 
a temporary phase Capricorn you will get through it and you will you will feel better it's just you just got to get through the storm first so let's have a look at that fourth week well fourth and fifth week in April April sorry May <laughs> Um, so we've got the voice card. So I think after all this that's coming through, you may have done some work on your health, done some work on healing, and you may realise that you need to use your voice a bit more, whether it's to um, stand up for yourself or to get your point across, or whether it's just to communicate how you're feeling and what's really going on. Just be really honest, use your voice. Uh, don't be afraid to use your voice. Clear that throat chakra and let your voice be heard. If you need support, ask for it. If you're struggling, tell people. Tell people that you're struggling um, and go get that help, whether it's from a counsellor, a psychologist, a doctor, or whether you go down the holistic pro approach, or whether you just go talk to your friends and family, whatever it is. I feel like you really need to just use your voice, especially in that fourth week whether it is standing up for yourself or just communicating what's going off and how you're feeling there, lovely Capricorn. So this is some interesting energy for you this month. I feel like a lot of you are going through a lot of stuff right now and I do really feel for you. And like I say, if any of you need my help in any way, shape or form, just come and drop me a message on whichever platform that you watch me on. I'm on pretty much all of them. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this reading, Capricorn. Be strong. Look after yourself and know that this is only a temporary situation. Things will change eventually if you just keep looking after yourself and keep pushing forward um, and keep expressing how you're feeling to people as well. Don't carry it all inside. Okay, my lovely Capricorn, thank you for watching. I'll be back next month for another reading. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give me a like, comment, share. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to ring the bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload another video. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye for now.